The former governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, she has lost her bid to win a seat in the House of Representatives. Now, Palin's defeat is the latest political setback for someone who was con once considered a rising star of the Republican Party. Joining us to discuss this is Julian Zelitzer. He is a CNN political analyst and historian, as well as professor at Princeton University. Julian, thanks so much for joining us. You just wrote a very interesting opinion piece on CNN.com, and you make the case that Sarah Palin has lost the battle, but won the war. You say, quote, Palin's political legacy will endure. The former Alaska governor was a pivotal figure in mainstreaming a new style of Republican politics that ignored traditional guardrails. Her brand of conservative popul populism weaponized social and cultural outrage and mobilized working class Americans. Palin, in short, mastered Trumpism long before Donald Trump ever set foot in the White House. So, Julian, how is it that the person who arguably unleashed this phenomenon may now be out of politics? Well, she hasn't found the kind of electoral success that she's looking for, and it's unclear uh, the kind of political legs uh, that this kind of Republicanism has. That said, it's pretty clear how the Republican Party has changed. It didn't all start in 2017, and she was one of the figures. I talk about Newt Gingrich as being another who gradually changed what the Republican Party was and opened the door to a very uh, fierce kind of reactionary populism that has been prevalent uh, during the last few years for sure, but started a lot earlier. Do you think this rejection of Palin by Alaska voters should serve as a warning sign to other Republicans in the same vein, like the former president who's just launched his, uh, his he's just announced that he's running for president in 2024? It might, but I think that would underestimate how deep this kind of politics is in terms of how rooted it is in the Republican Party. Parties don't change overnight. Uh, parties won't change because of one midterm election. My guess is the fact they control the House will give them some sustenance. And I think it's going to take a series of election losses, meaning uh, many years of losing, not just in one seat, uh, but for Republicans to start to believe that they have to change their ways. I don't think the party is feeling that way right now. So the brand that Gingrich, Palin, Trump all embody, I think is still alive and well in the party. So even after this blow to Republicans in the midterms, you don't think that they're going to, to change? You don't think that they're going to be able to, to cast Trump aside? No, I think they might offer a different version of what we call Trumpism. And maybe that's a Governor DeSantis, or maybe that's uh, the former president trying to position himself in a different way. But as the story you started with suggests, that's going to be very hard. But but I don't think the party is going to change as quickly as some observers believe. All right, Julian Zelitzer, it will be very interesting to, to see what happens both to the party and to, to Sarah Palin herself. Julian Zelitzer, thank you so much for your time.